So uh, the next feature we wanted to cover is the, the ARM reporting package. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna combine uh, a PL, profit and loss statement, and, and a balance sheet. And basically we're gonna uh, generate a, a single report for it in, in a PDF out, output format and, and be able to email it to whoever the, int the intended audience is. So what we're gonna do here in order to enable this, uh, I, I uh, conveniently added a profit and loss and, and balance sheet report here as favorites in, in Acumatica for myself in this exercise. So first what we do is uh, we'll take the, the first of the, of the two reports, the profit and loss statement. And what we're gonna do is uh, set, well, we're gonna set some parameters here. So in this demo environment, we know that we have some good data in October, 2018. Uh, now we're gonna go to the print and email settings. And here, there, here are these format options. So I'm, I'm gonna set the format of the package to a PDF. So we're gonna have a, a P&L, and then, and then a balance sheet in a, P, in a PDF document uh, as, as an end result. I'm going to give that that uh, that package a name, and then what I'm going to do is give that the name of PNL with the ampersand and B slash S for a balance sheet. And then I'm going to give this two field sorry, for a, a two email address uh, my email my email address. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and save that template. I'm going to give it a name of somewhat abbreviated for merged financial statements. So now we have those parameters saved in, in that template. Uh, next, what we do is create a schedule template. So I'm going to click that schedule template here. Uh, we don't have any to choose from. What we do here is we select merge reports. And for the end, for the output, we want to have is a PL come first and the balance sheet come second. So we're working on the, on the profit and loss statement, so I'm going to set the merging order to one there. And on this screen, what we do is, uh, well, we do a few things. We give it we give it a description, so I'm going to give it a, give it a good uh, description to say merge financial statements. I have a few other parameters to set, so underneath details, I'm going to select no execution limit, and then we're required to put in a, a starts on date, so I'm just going to select on midnight. And then go ahead and save that. So now we have a template for the, the profit and loss reports parameters that we that we have we have set, and now we have an automation schedule that's gonna that's gonna enable this. Next, we're gonna go ahead and and do the same thing with the balance sheet. So for report parameters again, you know, we've got good we've got good data in October 2018, so I'm gonna set that month. Print and email settings, the exact same thing. my email address, I'm gonna save that template. And as a best practice, I'm gonna give this the, the same name, this template the same name as it did for the profit and loss statement. I want to see why that is a best, pra a best pra practice at the end of this exercise. Merge financial statements, somewhat abbreviated. And now we'll click uh, schedule template. In this case, we, we have the, the, the uh, schedule already uh, defined from when we did the walkthrough with a profit and loss statement. So here, I'm merely going to select merge reports, and this is going to be order number two. So the this is going to be the balance sheet coming after the profit and loss statement. Click OK on that, and now we're basically ready to send reports. So I'm going to go into Universal Search, select Send Reports, and this is what that best practice. Uh, is going to help us with on this particular screen. So we can have a lot of different templates out here um, and to pick and choose from. But if we look at the, the, those with the same name, uh, then, then they're easy to identify. So I'm going to select the one that uh, give that abbreviated name merged financial statements to. And we see the merge order over here. So profit and loss comes first, balance sheet comes second. Now I'm going to go ahead and process that. While I do that, I'm going to open up Outlook. And there is the, the title of, of the reporting package, PNL MBS for the balance sheet. Open up that PDF. Again, this can be in a few, uh, a few other different formats. Set it to PDF. And there's a profit and loss statement on the first page and the balance sheet on the second page. So I hope you found that this useful. 
thank you very much for your time. Thanks for watching. To learn more about our products, visit www.crestwood.com. Hope to see you there soon.